The following video demonstrates the power of the black box price action grid and shows how it has the potential to revolutionize your trading and help you to exceed your current performance level. We recommend you watch it in conjunction with the videos that demonstrate the DAX equidistant channels and equidistant zones dated August 2018. The exact same grid structure demonstrated in these videos has been projected into the future and was used to anticipate the live trade setup shown in this video. After watching this video, we invite you to visit us at blackboxsoftwaresolutions.com where we share our unique specialist style of trading using our hybrid trade management system called the Black Box Trade Controller. Hello and welcome to the DAX commentary for Friday the 24th of August 2018. What we're looking at is the hourly chart and we have marked up two event zones. One up here and one down here. Now each of the zones consists of a number of components of the price action grid which are listed here and here. Now at the moment price has been contained within this hourly bull and bear wedge we have the hourly bear channel and the hourly mid bull channel that you can see has clearly contained price for the last few days and when price breaks out of that wedge there's nothing in the way for it to move on up to the event zone up here or if it breaks down below the bottom of the wedge move down to this event zone down here this is the five minute chart you can see there's the daily ma there's the hourly bull, there's the daily mid bull. Price is currently testing the hourly equidistant zone here at 12.429. See over here on the five minute, it's, uh, it's a bull and bear intersection and a mid line of the five minute equidistant zone. The real value is if price punches up through this where we have the daily mid bull and the hourly bull channel and the daily moving average. This would be a daily moving average bounce, a daily MAB. Price is currently finding support on the bottom of the M5 equidistant zone here at 12421. It may want to come back to yesterday's high, which is shown here. But this was a very strong bull spike up, and what we're anticipating is a test of this region here with the daily moving average shown there for a potential daily moving average bounce sell trade. If we put the fib tool on, we can find a point A at the beginning of the spike bull spike there. 61.8 is confident with yesterday's high but at the moment price is intent on moving on up. Okay I've just ended a sell trade there. Price has come up through these two bull channels just below the moving average so we'll see if this level holds there's also an intersection here of the bull and bear mid channels you can see there's a lot of rescon there Now we do have above it the previous week's high, but this bull channel and this daily mid bull channel have so far this week been very effective at holding price. So rather than wait for price to move up to the previous week's high, this is why we've sold here. And the other part of the confluence is the daily moving average. 
you can see all three are in close proximity and form a very powerful area of rescon, resistive confluence. If we just switch to the one hour chart, you can see the area here that we've marked up earlier. There's all the different components of the grid forming the rescon. I've moved my target down to here from up here because if this is a turnaround point then price may well come back down and give us more than your standard 2R. But price has broken out of the H1 wedge, there it is there, and this is the area of the grid we'd anticipated in advance, we posted to the blog on the website for members to give guidance as to where possible trading opportunities may occur. This is the setup on the 15 minute chart. Again, it's the same structure. We have our hourly equidistant zone here, boundary, and the bottom of it. There's the complete zone, top of it up here. There's the hourly bull channel. There's the daily mid bull channel. And there's the daily moving average. There's the setup on the daily chart. You can see prices come down strongly last week. Found support at the previous month's low, previous week's low, at this mid daily equidistant zone here at 12,135. Price has come up, and there's, the, there's the, the moving average bounce on the daily time frame shown in blue. Price has now briefly retraced, and the big question is is this just a minor retracement? and the bulls will reassert themselves and move on back up or is this just a natural retracement and the bears will continue to drive price back down into the channel you can see over here on the five minute price is now um, resolving the mid equidistant five minute zone shown by the dash line and the hourly equidistant boundary there at 12429 The bears can drive it below this level then it's quite likely price will continue to come on down and start testing yesterday's high. However we do have over here a potential M1 MAB but due to the context it's not a trade I would consider a high probability when you're coming um, back down off an area of rescon like this then the strength of an M1 moving average is really enough to, to cause little more than a, a bounce. Bears are now trying to drive it back down below the hourly equidistant zone here at 12.429. This is a major level to take out. You can see how well price moved back up, captured by the top of the five minute equidistant zone there perfectly. And there we go now, price is moving on down quite nicely. What I'm gonna do is bring my stop down to just above that level there. My current take profit target is right down here, sat at the 12. 383 level. We do have an hourly bear channel there and the 15 minute moving average and the daily golden low high zone at the moment. Price is finding support at the 12400 level. So this could be temporary support. You can see here on the five minute the top of the current golden low high zone shown also here. Okay, that's the take profit target reached. That's 4.06R, which is effectively 4.06%, as 1R equals 1% of the trading bank. So here we have a great example of how the price action grid, particularly intersections of the price action grid, form areas of ResCon, resistive confluence, or SUPCON, supportive confluence, can be identified well in advance, which we did today, uh, pre 7 a.m., pre the beginning of the trading session, and we took a screenshot of that and posted those event areas on the blog. 
and we wait patiently. We be the bear as we say at Black Box. That's our trading mantra, being the bear, full details of which are on the website. But I hope you can see from this video how powerful the price action grid is and how useful it is in your trading. And when you spot these high probability zones, you can get multiple R profit opportunities from them. Here we are looking at the one hour time frame. And this is the screenshot we posted up earlier with these zones in. This was the sell zone of Rescon. This was the buy zone of Subcon. With all the components of the grid that were in play at each zone. And it was the sell zone that came into play as shown in this video. And at the moment now price has come back into this wedge. And it may well find support down here at the hourly uh, mid bull. And yesterday's close and the low, you can see we've got an area of, of subcon here, relatively minor compared to the larger one down here. And what we don't know is what's going to happen next. We don't know if the bears are going to take over and drive it on through this and continue on down to this region, or it just consolidates and the bulls will reassert themselves and take on this level again and see if they can break through it. But either way, we have entered the market based on high probability reasoning. We've got just over 4% growth on the trading bank from that one trade. We're now looking at the one minute chart showing the trade that we took earlier on at this area of Rescon. Well, this is what's happened since. We, uh, we haven't been at our desk for the last uh, half hour or so. But price did come down, test the mid hourly bull channel here, find support within this five minute equidistant zone before moving back up above the hourly bear channel there. This is the 15 minute chart showing the grid structure. This is the area of Rescon that we sold at earlier on. There's the daily moving average somewhere by that line and this is the um, hourly bull channel. When price sold off, we closed out our trade around here. But look what happened. It continued on down to the mid bull hourly channel, the top of a key zone that we already had identified from a week or two ago. And you can see along here when you look left, the perfect touches on this mid bull channel. Price has since moved back up and now is above the hourly bear channel there. This is the hourly chart where we show the zones that were identified early this morning and posted on the blog. This is the one that came in price did break out of the wedge we sold here there's all the rescon components listed price came down to find support again as we just looked at on the hourly mid bull channel shown here every time price has come down it's moved it back up and we're also working the upper boundary of the channel here which is what we sold at in this area of rescon so at the moment price is kind of moving back up as it uh, is just below yesterday's high Here's what it looks like on the five minute chart. There's the area of Rescon, which we took the sell trade at. There's the sell off all the way down to this area of Subcon. The hourly mid bull channel there shown by this line. And we have the intersection here with a five minute mid bull channel and the open. Price has moved back up, moved up and down very clearly within this five minute equidistant zone before the bulls have managed to drive it back up above the hourly bull channel there. Today's price action demonstrates the power of the price action grid and how potential, high probability, high energy, high value opportunities can be anticipated well in advance. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.